Hi everybody and welcome to today's Wisdom Wednesdays. I am Patrina Wisdom, your Fresh Start Specialist and Authentic Living and Leadership Coach. I'm so happy to be here with you today as usual and very excited to jump into our three tips for awakening efficiency today. So with that said, let's get started. Our first tip for today is integrate your inner game with your outer game. Are you showing up as strong in your personal relationships as you are in your business life or vice versa? See, so what I'm finding with a lot of my clients lately is that they are these super successful, driven, accomplished, confident people in their business lives. And then in their personal lives, they're struggling with issues of self-esteem, confidence, not knowing who they really are at their core, and most importantly, they don't know what they want to create for themselves. See, oftentimes we get so caught up in everybody else's expectations of us or what they need from us that we lose sight of who we really are and what we really want. And that really creates a sense of unfulfillment and a lack of joy in our lives. Uh, because it's like we're constantly just giving, 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 and not really uh, getting the fulfillment and receiving what it is that we want in our lives. So I want to challenge you today to take a look at different areas of your life, whether it be personal or business, and see where the deficits are. So if you're a, a man who is the primary breadwinner and you've thrown yourself into your career, Oftentimes what happens is that you're showing up 100% at work because that's where the bread and butter is made, right? Uh, but then when you come home, you're tired, you're depleted, you don't have the energy to spend with your loved ones. You're not fully present. And so there's a deficiency there. So when I say really get integrated with your inner and your outer game, a lot of times our inner desires are to create this wonderful life for our families. And so we work hard and we push hard, but we forget to play, right? We forget to actually spend the time with our loved ones, right? So that's one example. Another example is someone who has great relationships, but maybe their finances or their career is completely out of sync. And so in their normal life, they're joyful and happy and having a great time and great relationships. But then when they go to work, uh, they're miserable, they're unfulfilled, they're not showing up as the same person. Powerful tip number two for today is don't get caught in the trap. Have the courage to identify and move past your limiting beliefs and self-talk. You know, you're not alone. We all have the inner chatter uh, that's telling us you're not worthy, you're not good enough, you're unlovable. You're not smart enough to do this and that. We all have it, right? Based on our experiences, the way we've been brought up, uh, the trauma that we've had in our lives, we all have these very limiting beliefs and, and self-talk chatter that goes on inside of us that every single solitary day we're having to fight, right? So you're, you're not alone. The, the difference is that you want to get control of that and get out of your own way so that you can achieve those goals, those dreams, that life that you've envisioned for yourself right now. You deserve to be living your absolute most fulfilling life. And all you have to do is commit to doing the work. So our last powerful tip for today is be willing to engage support. Surround yourself with people who care about you enough to tell you the truth. So the truth is that most of us are surrounded by our friends, by our family, and also by people who have put us in a certain position, on a pedestal sometimes, if you will, and they're looking to you for support. At least that's the clients that I attract. The people that are, have already attained a certain amount of success in their life or they're holding a certain position for which they're leading other people. But where do the leaders go when they need support? You can't talk to a friend or a family member because that person loves you and they're going to kind of go along with whatever you're telling them. They're not going to look beyond the BS or the negative self-talk or the limiting beliefs that you have. See, the power of having a coach is that you have a third party 
that is completely not vested in your sickness, but on the contrary, in invested in your success. What that means is that they're gonna call you into your greatness. My job as a coach is to call you into your greatness, not to allow you to make excuses and not allow you to hide any more from your greatness. In coaching together, we actually will uncover exactly what it is that you want to do, the thing that you feel like you're called to contribute to the world as a whole. And then we'll begin to really strategize around what would need to be done and what the steps are that need to be taken in order for you to actually live that life. So if my message resonated with you today and you're a person who's not fully living in their purpose, that's not living their best life right now and wants to learn how to make that happen, I would really encourage you to visit my website, patrinawisdom.com, subscribe to my newsletter, and then visit my personal coaching page. There's actually a spot on there where you can click to book a 15-minute strategy session with me. I'd love to hear what's going on and really make some suggestions about some of the ways that we might possibly move forward with coaching together. The other thing is that I may not be the coach for you, and that's okay. My main point here is to just give you a little insight on how powerful working with a coach can be and for you to do something, encourage you to do something, if not with me, with someone. Allow someone to support you, allow someone to call you into your greatness, and to really help you move through those blocks. Again, part of it is just accepting that some of those issues or nagging chatter is there. And with that, that wraps up our Wisdom Wednesdays for today. I really encourage you to connect with me on social media, Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, LinkedIn, all of them. Uh, again, visit my website, subscribe to my newsletter, and I look forward to speaking with you once again and sharing any wisdom and insight that I have for you next week, same time, same channel. Bye. Make it a great week.